that's the uh, pork shoulders we have to have the bone in uncut for them to really survive the test all right this is the what's left of the Montana gold 165 grain jacket at hollow point you see label number one there uh, I'm sure this one just like the other one did not expand but uh, this blue this bullet just blew the living shit out of it uh, out of all of the number one pork shoulders uh, this one shows the absolute most damage done to it by any of the bullets, whether it's the silver tip or the XTP. Um, this 165 grain Montana Gold jacket at Hollow Point just totally just blew this thing up. You can see it in the video. Oh, look what we have here. We got one of the pedals on the jacket. So that tells us, as we've seen in previous pictures of the Montana Gold, they like to open up and shed their pedals. We know at least the Montana Gold bullet was opening up, even if we don't recover it. We have a pedal from the uh, bullet opening up. Um, but again, this just this just blew up. Uh, I think bone-in pork shoulders are the way to go. Uh, it just totally destroyed this. But this is definitely the worst out of all of them. I mean, it's it's no comparison. It just totally... Ah, here we go. Right here, we have another pedal from the Montana Gold jacket at Hollow Point. So, like I said in previous tests, when I have recovered the bullet, and I've got the pictures already posted to show it, when the Montana Gold bullet opens up, it likes to shed the little pedals, which is fine by me. That just creates more damage. I'm not too really worried about the picture little picture perfect pedals. Uh, well, that tells us the bullet started opening up. So I know you guys have issues with the harder core of the Montana Gold bullet, but the fact of the matter is, when you push that bullet above 1,400 feet per second, it will open up, and it will open up quite nicely. And from what we can tell from the pedals, which is exactly what Norm at Montana Gold said it would do at the higher velocities for this particular bullet. Don't know about the 9mm 115 grain Montana Gold. Haven't tested it. Probably won't test it based on the video I saw of it. It won't fit my needs. But I still probably will test it anyway just to have the empirical data. Here's another chunk of meat. And it just totally fucked this all up. Anything else sitting in here? No. Wait a minute. Huh. Interesting. Sitting in the bo bottom of the ooze, we have a little piece of lead here. So I'm guessing that probably came from the pedals. So the Montana Gold 165 seems to be opening up even with a plug of, well, we can assume a plug of leather in it. And we all sh shot with the same leather jacket through all these. Here is the label, 10 millimeter Montana Gold, number two, pork shoulder. Uh, let's see. This one doesn't seem to reflect as much damage like the first one. I mean, it's pretty well messed up. But this is this is pretty much what we were seeing on the other pork shoulders. Pretty well blew through this one too. Again, without without the bone in there, uh, I'm I'm not particularly satisfied with these tests. Without the bone, we're we're lacking that structural integrity of actually using real meat, uh, which is why I like to use the bone in pork shoulder in the first place. You got meat tendon, air pockets, fluid pockets, everything like a real human being. These deboned pork shoulders just don't seem to have that same. They're not held together the same. And, uh, I mean, it would be like a gut shot. You're shot in the stomach with this. This is pretty much what your guts would do all over the place. Uh, no more bits or pieces. Okay. 
has a real nice smell going on these. Uh, I made sure that they're basically about room temperature when I shot them. And that way the meat was close to the body temperature as it can be without actually putting the damn thing in the oven and pre-warming it up. Uh, no more. Yeah, this one's pretty well cut right through. But out of all of them, this was the only one where I recovered because on the first roast where I actually recovered anything and they are the Montana Gold Petals which that tells me that the Montana Gold Bullet had to have opened up otherwise it wouldn't have peeled back and generated these little petals like they like to do and like they've done in all my other tests and other media.